Mystery is my hobby. I received an urgent request by a Mr. Tracy Winthrop to visit him at his home on the Hudson. My interest was aroused because of certain enclosures contained in the letter. So I called Inspector Danton, and we started north late that evening. Well, here we are. I ring the bell. Stop! Jump in, Judas. What's that? There's someone over there in the shadows. He who rings that bell is doomed. Hey, Bart, that sounds like a voice from the grave. Oh, stop using your imagination, Inspector. Hello! Is someone there? This is the house of doom. Enter not or you die. That's straight from the shoulder talk. Bart, let's enter not. Keep quiet, Inspector. Hello! We're looking for Mr. Tracy Winthrop. I thought I heard voices out here. Was there something you wanted? Yes. Are you Tracy Winthrop? I'm Barton Drake. Drake? Well, I didn't expect you until tomorrow. Yes, I'm Tracy Winthrop. Come in, please. Excuse me, Mr. Winthrop. There was someone there at the end of the porch who spoke to us. We're curious to know who it was. Someone spoke to you? Yes, that's right. In just a minute, I'll turn on the light. There. Well, the porch seems to be empty, Mr. Drake. Yes, it does. That's odd. Odd? It's downright impossible. Look, Mr. Winter, both of us heard a voice. Really? I'm sorry, Mr. Uh... Oh, excuse me. This is my assistant, Noah Danton. Noah, Mr. Tracy Winthrop. Nice to know you, Inspector Danton. I read a lot Inspector, about Inspector, look. How did you know I'm Inspector Danton? Barton, I thought... Oh, come now, Inspector. When I asked Barton Drake to take my case, I hardly expected him to arrive without you. After all, it's a well-known fact that Mr. Drake considers you indispensable. Well, now, Bart, did you hear what the man said? I certainly did, Inspector, and he's 100% correct. Well, well, well. I always thought... Now, if you uh, gentlemen are convinced there are no spooks licking here on the porch, uh, will you step inside, please? Yes, thank you. Uh, but look, uh, that voice... Uh... The wind plays peculiar tricks at Hurricane Manor, Inspector. Often we mistake its howling for the whispering of voices. Whispering? By golly. Uh, uh, step into my study, please. This is the only room in the house that's soundproof, so we can feel quite free to talk without being overheard. I'll turn on the lights. Hey, Bart, are we nuts, or did we hear a voice out there on the porch? Of course we did, Inspector, but for the time being, I think we'd better pretend it was the wind. There we are. Now, sit down, gentlemen, and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Say, it's kind of nice in here, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's the only room in the house I've been allowed to fix up to suit my own tastes, Inspector. Allowed to fix up? <laughs> I thought you were... Yes, uh... yes, I know. You thought that being a millionaire, I would be master of my own home. Unfortunately, I'm the victim of uh, circumstances. Oh, what kind of circumstances, Mr. Winston? Women. Women? Yes. Two nieces and a stepdaughter. One of them is planning on murdering me. That's a pleasant outlook. And uh, what does one of them want to murder you for? My money, naturally. You see, in my will, I've left everything to my stepdaughter, Lucy. Mm-hmm. And you think it's Lucy who's planning your murder? Oh, no. No, why should she? Lucy has no way of knowing that she's my heir. So, to your nieces? I think they suspect. Mr. Drake, I'd like to appoint you as Lucy's guardian. What? Well, 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 that's a new one. Uh, how old is Lucy, Mr. Winthrop? Twenty. She's very attractive. <laughs> and... I'm sorry, Mr. Winthrop. Acting as guardian to an attractive girl is a little out of my line. Uh, please hear me out, Mr. Drake. Lucy is, shall we say, not a very strong character. She's rather shy and retiring. As soon as I'm uh, dead, my two nieces are going to try and influence her to turn my fortune over to them. You seem very matter-of-fact about all this, Mr. Winthrop. Cold-blooded murder isn't something that should be spoken of so lightly. I'm sorry, but being practical in this case is being smart. I know I'm close to death. I want Lucy's interest protected after I'm gone by someone of good sense. That's why I've taken legal steps to make you her guardian, Mr. Drake. I'm afraid you took too much for granted when you assumed I'd accept the guardianship of your stepdaughter, Mr. Winthrop. On the contrary, I rather think you'll like the idea. I believe it appeals to you because uh, it smacks of danger. Danger? What's dangerous about playing nursemaid to a 20-year-old babe? I explained all that in my letter to Mr. Drake, Inspector. That's why he indicated his willingness to do what I asked by cashing the check I enclosed. Now, wait a minute. Just what did you explain in the letter? He explained, Inspector, that there was a possibility of my being murdered. Yeah, you mentioned that. Why is there a chance of Bart being murdered? Because, Inspector, after I'm gone and it becomes known that Mr. Drake is Lucy's legal guardian, somebody's going to try and dispose of him. I don't believe it. Those things only happen in books. Now, Leave uh... this house, Barton Drake, or you die. Good heavens, what's that? It's a voice of death. Where did it come from, anyway? Behind you, Inspector. Behind me? I don't see... This is the house of doom. Leave. If 
before it's too late. That didn't come from behind me. It came from over there. It couldn't have. This room is absolutely soundproof. Tell me, is this the first time you've heard the voice, Mr. Winthrop? Yes, it is. I can't imagine what its meaning is or how it's possible for us to hear it in this room. Maybe it's a whispering of the wind. Is that... Is that what you meant when you said you heard a voice out on the porch? Yes. Are you convinced now that we weren't imagining things, Mr. Winthrop? Yes, I am. That was a real voice, though in human sounding. Drake, this could mean the beginning of the end for me. Why? What's the voice got to do with you? It was Bart the guy was talking about. But don't you see? Somehow they've learned that Drake is here. Perhaps they know that I've appointed him Lucy's guardian. They're trying to frighten him away. I think you're partly right, Mr. Winthrop. <laughs> Good Lord, listen to that. Sounds like the voice of death got it herself. Yes. I think we'd better find out where that came from right now, Mr. Winthrop. Will you lead the way, please? But the voice was right here in this room. Obviously, that's incorrect since we can see every section of this room. No, I think if we look carefully, we'll find a loudspeaker attached somewhere and a microphone in some other part of the house. Say, that could be the answer, could it? It must be the answer, Inspector. Well, Mr. Winthrop. All right, come along. We'd better search the bedrooms first. The stairs are at the end of the hall. I'll switch on the lights as we go along. Stop. Death lurks at the top of the stairs. Beware. The guy must have a walkie-talkie. That came from over there. Under the stairs. There's nothing under the stairs. You can see there isn't. Mr. Winthrop, where's the switch that will turn on the lights at the top of the stairs? Right there on the wall beside you. Hmm? Oh, yes, fine. I'll turn it on. you better get out your gun, Inspector. I've had it out for five minutes. Go ahead. Switch on the light. Cut that. That's jumping, Judas. What happened? The lights are out. It's pitch dark. It must be a sort of circuit. Mr. Winthrop. Inspector. Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, Mr. Winthrop. Well, looks like the old boy's left us. He was right there when... Okay. What's going on? Get out your flashlight, huh? Inspector. Okay. Hey, well, you dirty... What's the matter? Someone knocked the light out of my hand. Well, pick it up. Okay, okay. i got to find it first. Doggone it. I, I, I can't see a thing. Wait a minute, Inspector. I'll light a match. What is that? Someone went through that door at the end of the hall. Here's a match. There's your flashlight over against the wall. All right. Yeah, I got it. Now I can see something. Jump in Judas' spot. Look. Yes. I see it. Winthrop's body. His body? Do you mean... Look at his neck, Inspector. There's a strand of wire knotted around it. He's been strangled. All right, golly. Let me take a look. You're right, Bart. He's dead. Murdered right under our noses. Yes, and quite cleverly, too. That wire had been fashioned into a noose before the... Look, 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 look. I see. Here comes the babe with a candle. Well, gentlemen, you seem to have done rather a thorough job of murdering Uncle Tracy. Murdering him? Us? Now, look, lady... You're Inspector Danton, are you not? And this tall gentleman must be Barton Drake. That's right. And who are you, please? I? Don't you know? Well, I'm Lucy. Tracy Winthrop was my stepfather. You're Lucy. And Winthrop must have been giving us a runaround. There's nothing shy and retiring about you. In the face of death, Inspector Danton, even the shy and retiring are strong. And then, of course, I'm crazy. Crazy? Yes. Didn't Father tell you? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> I start staring mad. <laughs> Yes, Cousin Mona. What are you laughing at? Who turned off the light? It's Father Tracy, Mona. He's been murdered. Murdered? What are you talking about? I knew I shouldn't have let that girl alone. Lucy, who are these two men? I don't know, Cousin Mona. I found them standing here over Father Tracy's dead body. Good heavens. He's been strangled. That's right, Miss Evans. You are Miss Evans, aren't you? Yes, I'm Mona Evans. Who are you? What are you doing here? And who's this other man? Danton is the name, ma'am. Inspector. Homicide. Inspector? Then that's why you're here, because Uncle was murdered. Tell me, how did you know? He was alive an hour ago. This is all so confusing. Won't someone kindly explain what it's all about? They killed him. I saw them. I was standing right there in the doorway. Oh, hush up, I... Lucy. Policemen don't go around killing people. Now go back to your room. But I saw... Go back to your room, I say. All right, Cousin Mona. <laughs> Cousin Mona. She's no more my cousin than the man in the moon. Now that Uncle Tracy's dead, I'll have her committed to a home. You seem rather pleased that your Uncle Tracy is dead, Miss Evans. Naturally. 
Helen and I stand to inherit his entire fortune. Why shouldn't we be? Helen? She's my sister. Oh. We'll share Uncle Tracy's fortune equally. Where is this Helen now? She's up in Maine visiting the family of a fiancé. Oh, dear, what a mess this is. I suppose you men are going to insist that Uncle Tracy was murdered? Yeah. That wire wasn't put around his neck for comfort. Furthermore, we're going to find out who murdered him. How annoying. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. How long do you think it'll take? Well, that depends on how cooperative you are, Miss Evans. By the way, who's that standing over there in the doorway? What? Oh, that's Grace our maid. What is it, Grace? There's something wrong, Miss Mona. The lights went out. No, and... there's nothing wrong at all, Grace. Mr. Winthrop has been murdered, that's all. Murdered? Yes, but don't worry. These gentlemen are here to find out who did it. You can go now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Grace. Yes, ma'am? Miss Lucy will be leaving us tomorrow. You can help pack her things. Leaving? Miss Lucy? Yes. That's all, Grace. Yes, ma'am. Miss Evans. Yes. I dislike disillusioning beautiful women, but I'm afraid you're taking too much for granted. Oh? In the first place, you are our number one suspect. The idea. In the second place, you are not the one of the heirs to your uncle's estate. He left everything to Lucy. Nonsense. I've seen the will and it's properly In the third place, I've been appointed Lucy's legal guardian and I don't believe she's crazy. That's ridiculous. Of course she's crazy. She's been crazy for years. Helen and I can prove it. And I can prove something too, Miss Evans. I can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt who it was who murdered your uncle. Convinced that there aren't any loudspeakers or microphones here in Winthrop's study? Yes, Inspector. I'm afraid I'll have to admit defeat on that score. So the voice of doom really does come out of the spirit world, eh? Inspector, your sense of dramatic sometime proved to be the most ridiculous. Well, hello, Miss Evans. Come in. Mr. Drake, if you're so positive, who murdered my uncle? Why are you going to all this trouble to collect evidence, as you call it? Knowing a person is guilty of murder and proving it are two different things, Miss Evans. And Drake doesn't go around putting the finger on people unless he can prove their guilt, lady, so you might as well quit playing hard to get along with. Oh, all right. What do you want me to do? First, I'd like to see your uncle's will, the one in which he names you and your sister Helen as his heirs. I see. You doubt that such a will exists. Very well, I'll show it to you. Uncle Tracy made no secret of it. He kept the will here in his desk drawer. Yes, here it is in the folder. Look it over, Mr. Drake. Thank you. Hmm... This is rather extraordinary. A will and handwriting. Uncle Tracy was an extraordinary man. The fact that the will is in his handwriting proves it's authentic. It might, if that's Winthrop's handwriting. Don't be absurd, Inspector. Of course it's Uncle Tracy's handwriting. A dozen people can and will swear to it. Tell me, is this the only will that your uncle ever made, Miss Evans? No. A long time ago, before Lucy became deranged, he made another, naming her as heir. Mm-hmm. And where's that will now? I suppose that attorney Scott Rowland has it in his office. But don't get any ideas. The will you have in your hand outdates the other by month. It's properly witnessed and otherwise quite in order. Now, what else would you like to know, Mr. Drake? Oh, quite a few things. First of all, the inspector and I would like to search your bedroom. My bedroom? Yes. Then we'd like to examine the cellar. The cellar? What an unusual request. Mr. Drake, are you quite sure you know what you're doing? Oh, very sure, Miss Evans. Furthermore, I'm quite sure that you know what I'm doing, too. Come along, Inspector. Here we are, Inspector. This must be the room. Yep. I don't know what you expect to find in the baby's bedroom, but... Hey! Well, this is something I didn't expect to find. Were you looking for something, Grace? I I was just cleaning up, sir. That's a good one. Do you always start cleaning up by looking inside of desk drawers? Uh, I don't know what you mean. What's that you're trying to hide behind you, Grace? It's nothing. Really, it isn't. It's nothing at all. No, let's see here. Oh, please. I didn't mean to steal anything. Well, 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 a book. Now, what the... May I see it for a minute, Inspector? Sure, it's nothing but an ordinary book. Hmm. No, it's quite a lot more than an ordinary book. It's Mona Evans' personal diary. Grace, what did you want with this diary? Oh, I didn't steal it. I didn't. 
I was only going to to dust it off. Dust it off. But when this babe cleans up her room, she really cleans it, opens drawers. I suppose and... you know the people who steal are sent to jail, Grace. Oh, I wish you would send me to jail. I wish you would. I hate it here. Hate it. Are you really policemen? Really policemen? Now, look, lady, this is the first time anyone ever asked me that question. Why are you so anxious to know if we're really policemen, Grace? Because if you are, there's something I must tell you. This is the house of doom. All who come here must die. There it is again. The voice. The voice I know that I'll be next. They told me I would if I... If you what, Grace? I can't tell. I can't. I'll die if I do. They said I would. Who said you would? She did. The voice. She said that Mr. Winthrop would die, and then she said I would. Oh, I'm so frightened. Oh, no, no, oh. no, no. You need to be frightened, Grace. You're not going to die. I am. I know I am. I'm so afraid. Oh, no. no. Inspector and I'll take you to your quarters, Grace, and you can lock yourself in your room until we get back. Where, where are you going? Down in the cellar. And when we return, we'll have the voice of doom with us. What are we stopping here in the kitchen for? I thought we were going down and trap the voice of doom. Hmm. Let me see. Hey, Bart. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, Inspector. We are going down and trap the voice of doom. But first I want to check through this diary. Why? You expect to find a confession of murder there? No, no, no. Miss Evans couldn't have had time to record the murder since it only occurred an hour ago. Be reasonable, Inspector. Okay, then what are you looking for? A confession of murder, Inspector. A confession? Now, wait a minute, Bart. All right, Inspector. I found what I wanted. Get out your flashlight and let's go. Looks rather forbidding down there, doesn't it? There's a light switch on the wall. Huh. No light? No, I didn't expect there would be, did you, Inspector? Someone in this household is mighty handy with electric wires. Point your flashlight down the stairs, Inspector. What are we looking for? That's what I want to know. We're looking for the door to the furnace room, Inspector. Yes, this is it, all right. Furnace, what are you going to do, start a fire? We might have to smoke out the voice of doom at that. Well, there's no furnace in here. No. Appears to be nothing but a store room. Hey, someone shut the door. Not only shut it, but locked it. Why, they're dirty. Hey, open this door. Open it. No use, Inspector. Whoever locked us in here intended that we should stay. So the great Barton Drake stepped into my little trap. Hmm? <laughs> Where did that come from? That grating up to the ceiling, I think, Inspector. It's an air duct from a furnace. From the furnace? Yes. This house is heated with a hot air system, Inspector, which means that there are one or more registers in each room. Now, any sound made inside the unlighted furnace would produce a hollow intonation which could be heard throughout the building. So that's where the voice of doom came from, eh? There's no doubt about it, Inspector. How very clever you are, Barton Drake. You fool. You were warned. Now you must die. Die, she says. What's she going to do, scare us to death? Nothing so naive, Inspector Danton. Listen, Mulder. Hey, that sounds like escaping gas. Inspector, that is escaping gas. It's coming through that air duct. Well, of all the corny gimmicks. Hey, shut up the gas before I... Uh, <coughs> before I... Before you what, Inspector? <laughs> Don't waste your breath talking, Inspector. You need all you have before we get out of this one. Ooh. Pull that box over here. Box one for What are you going to do? I'm going to stand on it and stuff my coat into that air duct. Hurry now. Okay. Stuffing up that hole isn't going to keep all the gas from getting in here. I'm beginning to feel lightheaded already. But we're doomed. Nonsense. <laughs> there we are. That'll keep most of the gas out. All right, Inspector. Start shooting. Shooting? Shooting at what? The lock, of course. Two or three slugs should ruin it completely. Oh, say, that's a good idea. Funny I never thought of it. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Here goes. That ought to do it. Better. I am beginning to feel lightheaded. Okay, Bart. Come on, it's open. Fine. Keep your flashlight handy, Inspector. The voice of doom must be somewhere nearby, and we're going to find her. There's a door over there. Maybe... Shh. Listen. What'd you hear? I'm not sure. Come over this way. Hey, Bart, look. Yes, I see it. Behind that barrel. Come on, Inspector. No, you don't, sister. Stay right where you are. Grab her, Inspector. I'll grab her while I carry you. Let me alone. Let me alone. Help it, Judas. It's Lucy. Yes. 
shy and retiring little Lucy. You let me alone. You can't arrest me. I'm crazy. Everybody knows I'm crazy. You're telling us. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your cousin Mona won't be of much help, Lucy. There she comes and the maid's with her. Lucy, what's happening? What's all this shooting about? I think you know what the shooting was about, Mona. Oh, I do. Tell him I'm crazy, Mona. Tell him I'm not responsible for what I do. Before you answer that, Mona, let me tell you something. Well? In the first place, I'm going to ask Inspector Danton to arrest you for being an accomplice in the murder of your Uncle Tracy Winthrop. You what? And in the second place, I'm going to ask the inspector to arrest this young lady here as the actual murderess. Wait a minute, Barty. You mean you want me to arrest this one? That's right, Inspector. But this is Lucy. She's the old man's stepdaughter. Also, she's crazy. I'm afraid you're wrong, Inspector. She's not crazy. In fact, she's not even Lucy. Huh? What was that by? The young lady's name, Inspector, is Helen. She's Mona's sister. And this girl here, who's been posing as a maid, is Lucy. Isn't that right, young lady? Uh, I'm not supposed to... Shut up, you. If you open your mouth, I'll... Uh, you won't do anything. Stand back and let the girl talk. Go on, miss. All right. I'll tell you. They threatened to kill me if I did, but now that father's gone, I don't care anymore. I'm Lucy. They maybe pretend I was the maid. They killed father. They've been planning... Why, you little wretch... I told you I'd kill you, and I will. Put down that gun, Mona, Inspector. Yeah, I got it. All right, lady, take it oh, easy. Let go of me. Uh, let go of me. Yes, Grace. You, you can call me Lucy now. That's my real name. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. What was it you wanted, Lucy? Are you and Inspector Danton leaving now? Yes, we are. But don't you worry. You'll be all right. There's no one around to bother you now. But I... I thought... Yes? Well, if Father appointed you my guardian... I mean... Well, I hate being left alone and... Yes, and... I see what you mean. It wouldn't be quite right to leave you here... All alone, would it? Well, tomorrow I could go to Ann Fulton's house and my best friend, and they want me to live with them. And... Okay, Bart, we're all set. Those two babes are taken care of, and I drove the car all the way up the hill. Say, what's the matter? Uh, Inspector, uh, I was wondering... Oh, 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 you don't have to brag. I caught out of the gimmick almost as soon as you did. It was the book. Book? What book, Inspector? The one with the writing in it. The diary that the young miss here was trying to steal. Oh. Hey, by the way, what did you want to steal it for, miss? Well, you see, Inspector... I knew that Mona had been practicing Father's handwriting for months. I also knew she kept the diary, so I reasoned that the more accurate she became in writing like Father, the more the entry she made in the diary would resemble his hand. Say, right? you're pretty smart. <laughs> you figured it right. The last entries in the diary were written in exactly the same hand as that phony will. And that meant that Mona forged the will, didn't it? Right. They suspected that you knew what they were up to, so they forced you to play the part of the maid. And then Helen pretended she was me and tried to make you think she was crazy. And later on, they try to work it out so that I'd be committed to a home. That's it. There's only one thing I can't figure out. <laughs> Why did Mr. Drake here become suspicious in the first place? Oh, I know the answer to that. When Helen first spoke to him, posing as me, she referred to Father as Uncle Tracy. You see, I'd naturally speak of him as Father. Well, well, did you figure that one out, too? Oh, no. Mr. Drake told me. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> I'm glad you let me in on it. Bart would needle me about it all the way back to New York because I didn't notice. Hey, uh, Bart, yeah. let's get going. I'm going to be back in New York tomorrow. Sorry, Inspector. And what do you mean, sorry, Inspector? I'm leaving, but you're not. What the devil are you... We can't just go off and leave this little girl here by herself. One of us will have to remain until she can make arrangements with her friends. Well, now, <laughs> let's see how Guardian Drake is the boy. Guardian Drake is returning to New York, Inspector. As a policeman in charge of this case, it's up to you to stick on the job. Nothing doing. Look, I'm a cop, not a nursemaid. Hey, Bart! Come back here. This is your job. Sorry, old boy. Playing nursemaid isn't my job or hobby. Writing is my job and mystery is my hobby. <laughs>